but you have to scrutinize who you messing around with. Robert Satcher doesn't have the pedigree that he has because his father married a belligerent fool or a stupid fool. His father married a quality woman. That Satcher name carries over generations. He knew who to choose as his wife, what African-American woman to choose as his wife, based upon what his father chose. He heavenly scrutinized his wife so he can become an astronaut. You just can't get with anybody. Just anybody could end up on crack. You have to choose a quality individual, you know, who reject crack and say, no, crack is whack or something. I don't, you know, come on. That's what you have to do. You have to be of a, a thinking age of, of maturity. And also, I'm going to say this too. Your biggest answer is, well, he wasn't strong enough. Another answer is he hates black women. Another answer is, is that, uh, uh, you know, a real man will be able to handle all this. And you're the only one sitting up there rolling your neck in the corner talking about a real man will handle all this. And it's hilarious. Everybody laugh. Everybody laugh. So let me go on about why is the cavalry so confident and not bitter. Number one, the bitterness only comes out when African-American women come onto my page. Or when African-American women decide that in the streets publicly that they got something to say. That's when the bitter comes out. Because, see, African-American women have had something to say about everybody's relationship while they were running theirs into the ground for about 30 years. For about 20 years. They've been messing with me for about 20 years. While their relationships have sucked, while they have not gotten married, they've been sitting up here bothering me. <laughs> Talking about my relationship. So, yeah. There is going to be a little bit of bitterness involved in that. That's human nature. 